In this video we're going to look at how to draw a pictogram. A pictogram can be very useful to represent data visually. So here we've got the number of CDs sold on different days. So on a Monday, 8 CDs sold, Tuesday 4, Wednesday 10 and Thursday 5. So whenever you're drawing a pictogram you're going to want the category, so here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, in rows. And what we're going to do is we're going to choose a symbol to represent a certain number of CDs sold. So because we have 8, 4, 10 and 5, I could use, um, you can use any symbol, a symbol. Now I, I would recommend using something simple like a circle or a square or something like that. Um, you could if you want to try to draw a CD if you're very good at art and you know that would be very impressive. I'm just going to draw a circle and I'm going to uh, say a circle and this is called a key by the way. Okay, and all pictograms need a key uh, where you say uh, you draw the symbol and you say how many it's going to represent. So I've drawn a circle and I'm saying that a circle represents represents two CDs sold. Okay, I could have said that a circle represents one CD sold, but I just uh, don't really want to do 10 circles for Wednesday. So what I'm going to do now is to draw the pictogram. Now the important thing is that whenever you draw in your pictogram, is that you keep the symbols the nice, uh, the same size, you keep them all in a row, and you keep it nice and tidy. So, Monday, eight CDs were sold. Because each circle represents two CDs sold, I'm going to need two, four, six, eight, four circles. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Now if you're doing this um, for a piece of coursework or something, you might want to make sure the circles are exactly the same, perhaps by drawing around a small round object or using your compass and making sure it's nice and tidy. Actually for a small symbol it's probably easier to draw around something quite small. Um, or even on a computer, cut and paste the symbols, you know, just to make, because then it's easy to keep them the same size. I'd recommend, though, if you are doing a computer or doing it on the computer, to make sure you're using the same symbol for all of the categories. Okay, Tuesday. On a Tuesday, four CDs were sold. Because each circle is two CDs, we're going to need two, two circles. One, two. Okay. So we've done Monday and Tuesday, now Wednesday. Wednesday it was ten CDs, so I'm going to need uh, five circles. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and finally, Thursday is five CDs. Now, as you notice, a circle represents two CDs, so you're gonna need two, four, and then you're gonna want half a circle, so you're gonna do two, four, and then you're gonna draw a semicircle, like so. That's why it's important to keep your key fairly uh, straightforward, so that if you need to half it or quarter it, that you can do it quite easily. That's why I tend to go for squares or circles or something quite straightforward. Um, but that's it, so we've drawn a pictogram. We have got each of the categories. We've got the symbols that represent the number of CDs sold. And we've got our key, and the symbols are drawn all the same size. They're nicely spread out, and that's it. So that's our pictogram. And so again, it's just a very nice way of representing data.